Gabby, welcome to Bell Stitch. It feels strange to do this video. A lot has happened since my last video. I have learned so much in the past few weeks. One of the sad things I learned, well, I knew it was there. I just had no idea how rampant racism is in the stitching community. I guess I have been very sheltered. I have not been attacked. And I am surrounded by amazing people. And for that, I will be forever grateful. I have my friends. I love them, they love me, and if you can't stand one more person saying Black Lives Matter, bye! Okay, but like a little splinter off my chest. Um, we have a long way to go. But forward, always forward. Okay, so 2020. I have had 17 finishes. I just had a finish. Like literally a few minutes ago, I wanted to do a video after that finish. So I was just like, stitching machine unfortunately band-aids on two fingers really um, put a damper on my sweatshop stitching <laughs> it's just it feels weird that they're there um, we have come a long way in like band-aid adhesive technology um they're not horrible it just feels weird like i don't have adhesive leaking out of the bandage it's not gumming up so much it's just strange that they're there so i was stitching in hand <gasps> that's not a code i have not been kidnapped everything's fine i was stitching in hand on this little project which was going well I, I did learn that if I am stitching on a small, I can stitch that in hand and it's not awful. Mm, but not with band-aids. So for the last bit of the project, I had to pop it in a Q-snap. So I'm less aware of these two band-aids. Anyway, enough about band-aids. So, mid-year. Oh, oh, I forgot to look it up. We have how many days left before Christmas tree day at my house? Okay. Are you excited? It's the little things. Okay, it's the little things. Um, before I get into stitching, how have you guys been? I have been, I've been okay. I've been really okay. Um... Hubby and I aren't really social, sociable people. We do miss our, the amount of socializing that we prefer. We miss that. But it's just a tiny, tiny bit. So we're not like doing stuff every weekend type of people. So it's not a gigantic blow. Um, to have to stay home. I mean, it sucks, but oh, we'd rather stay home. We'd rather stay home. All right, so stitching. I'm gonna do a mid-year uh, mid review. 
I've, I've lost I have completely lost the words what what is it called mid-year review I think that's what it's called mid-year review anyway I'm gonna show you my finishes for the year because I'm sure you've forgotten <laughs> I've forgotten I'm like what the heck is that where's that where did I put that because of course it's not in the box of finishes so these as I show you will get placed in the box of finishes so the first my first finish for 2020 is hornbook angel by the primitive needle um this chart was loaned to me by a friend i still have it i'm sorry i will oh i can print a priority label and i'll pop it in the mail to return to you so this is on 32 count flax with DMC 310. So this was a very relaxing stitch and I enjoyed it a lot. See in the finish bin. And my next one, finish number two. Oh, Hornbook Angel I finished on January 20. And then on January 22nd, I finished Witcher Fox by, by, not Forgotten Farm. I converted it. I changed all the colors. Well, like her fox was orange. Um, and the green was a green. Um, the white trees were black, I think, in her, in the original chart. And then for the snow, I did satin stitches. Um, so I did satin stitches. And this is an all HD, no it's not. It's HDF mostly. This is DMC color variation. Um, oh, and his tail is with um, Gentle Arts Simply Wool. It's a bit fuzzy and also on his chest. So that was super fun. Next is uh summer iris by blackbird designs which i finished on january 30th so i had three finishes um in january so one of the nice things about uh, blackbird charts is i have a 50 percent chance that alma stitched the chart so she would have the A already <laughs> um, on the design. Like it's charted with the A. So I don't have to figure out where to put my A. Um, this one, uh, the, the floss for the irises are the called for. And then I subbed everything else. That was super fun to do. Okay. Next. Finish number four is another Primitive Needle. I finished this on February 19th. This is Annie Hisop's Harvest Moon. I, the Insanely Bright Orange is Bittersweet. That is the called for. And I don't know what other called for floss I used. I know I substituted a lot. Um, it's getting washed out. I substituted a lot of the floss. This one I really like. I need to find a frame for this. Um, all right, so that was Harvest Moon, finished on February 19th. 
Next is my ornament. Um, I have, I stitched two um, deer ornaments for the first two kids. They get one each. I stitched those, I think, in 2008. Yeah, in 2008. And so I stitched one for my third child. That was in 2018. I stitched one for my husband. That's also 2018. I stitched one for the baby, also 2018, and then I finally stitched mine, um, 2020. This is the Brown is Gassed Maple Syrup. It's very nice. So, um, yeah. <laughs> This is the false start. I miscounted somewhere, so whatever. And I basically just started stitching wherever the needle fell. And they need to get finished. Okay, so, oh, on March 4th, I did March Stitching Madness. I had a new start for every day in March, starting March 1st to March 32nd, which was very chaotic, but because of the world event, that was Olivia's birthday that sent everybody into panic. Um, hi, Olivia. Um, March Stitching Madness was actually a much needed controlled chaos. I had a lot of fun. It was something I looked forward to every day. I didn't get to make a video every day as I had originally planned, but it's fine. That was, I am so glad I did it. So on March 4th, I started and finished this card, which I purchased at Celebration of Needlework. Um, it's a cute little super cute little card um it came with this frame it came with an orange ribbon that i couldn't find so i just got some white yarn and that was done in a day and i just uh, what did i use glue aliens tacky glue okay on march 18th i finished this ornament from the Midnight Ride leaflet. This is done with, hmm, I can't remember. Gloriana charcoal in the orange is, I'm not sure, I don't remember. This is picture of this false haunted heritage heritage very nice i like it a lot and i have another project started over here this is going to be notorious night and then i need to frog out this false start here i'm just going to get my super sharp scissors and snip all that away okay next is Boo by the Prairie Schooler. It, this is like one of those little cards. Um, this one was finished on April 7th. So I only had one finish in March, which was fine because I did start 32 projects. 
also. This is DMC 310 and I don't know the orange that it called for. I don't remember. This is on Ada that I really, really like. I wish I knew what this was. Do you know what this fabric is? Can you tell what it is? I really like it. It's Ada, but it's it's soft, but not too soft. It's not floppy, but I'm, I don't feel like I'm stitching on, um, on cardboard. I really like it. I have room for three more, so I have plans for that. And on April 21st, I finished two things. The first one is... Halloween by La Di Da, which I should have started on the edge, so I could have fit. It's fine. I can make two more ornaments out of this fabric and then something else in the bottom. It's fine. Oh, <gasps> okay. I know how to finish this. I just had an idea. Okay. Um. So this is gassed soot and DMC, that orange that I really like, color variation, 4135 or something, that one. And this is 32 count cobblestone. Okay. And the other one that I finished is May Basket by... Blackbird. This one is the first project that I stitched in hand in a very long time. I have not stitched in hand for a while. The arthritis doesn't like it too much. But again, like small projects are fine because I, I need to stretch it out so the fabric is taut. Otherwise, I don't like my tension. So the Awesome parts of this project is um, the butterfly. Focus. You make the excess and then you make a satin stitch over it so it puffs up. How cool is that? And then you have Algerian eyelets over here. And I stitched 2020 and I did that over one. over one so if you know me at all you'd know that that was not enjoyable at all but i did it i like it i like the result okay next is from may 16. oh it's still in the bag it's still in the juice now this is a freebie by barbara anna um I will have to, um, I'll do the show notes. Give me time. It'll be on my blog. So this is Light by Barbara Anna. Mm, I need a thing. Please hold. Okay. So Barbara Anna. I... Converted. This is all HDF. Is it? It is. Except for the tail that is wool. Oh, that's whisper. That's whisper. Um, everything else is HDF. This is 32 count Halloween smoke. This one did not take a long time to stitch. If you're interested, follow the hashtag Fox in a Dress Sal on Instagram. Okay, so, oh, I still I can free up the Q-snap now. Oh yeah, if your Q-snap 
clamps are no longer tight. You just pop in some paper towel in there. I know you can heat them up in the dishwasher, but I have not had luck doing that. So like, see how loose that is, that is the clamp? It barely clamps. I just add paper towel. So this fabric is gorgeous. Again, it's Halloween Smoke by, by Kiwi Illusions. So I love this. I still have, I have a good chunk of fabric left. So that's good. I have to, I'll have to figure out what I can put in that. All right. So that was finish number 11. Finish number 12 is Blackbird's first offering by Blackbird Design. I stitched it on, I guess, I think this is 20 Count Gingham by Nikki's Creations. Um, the floss is Water Lilies Dark Shadows. So two strands over two. It turned out really, really nice. I really like it. That was super fun. And I have leftover fabric. I don't, I typically, I don't cut the fabric until I'm ready to fully finish the project. Next, May 31st, I finished Mystic Sampler um, by The Primitive Needle. This is done on 32 count ren using HDF floss. So this was so much fun to stitch. I had an absolute blast stitching this. And this chart was loaned to me. I know, I need to return things. I need, I, re, I should mail this. I will mail this back. And then I have to, I can't do it tomorrow. I can't do it when it's raining because I have to do a uh, USPS pickup, scheduled pickup. And again, we're quarantining. We have no contact with delivery people. So it would have to be on a day that it's not raining. So I can just kind of leave it by the storm door. You don't need to know the details. All right. Next is, oh, my June, oh, June, we're in June, okay. So my first one that I finished um, was the Prairie Schooler Cat Ornament. I finished this on June 3rd, it's so cute! It's so cute, so that's DMC 310. Um, the green is spinach, I think, or steamed broccoli, I don't remember. And the orange is that DMC 4135 or whatever it is. And this is 30 to count blue spruce. And then the little pink nose. And then on June 9th, I finished the pumpkin from the same leaflet. In the same the same green the same orange and the yellow I just grabbed from something and then also on June 9th I finished Tulip House by Lucy Beam um, Becky Nolan is amazing she's amazing she's funny she's smart and she's an ally and I adore her. This is her tulip house. It is beautiful. I converted this to HDF 
Oh, there you go. The red is be redded. The green is blue spruce. The blue is unnamed. The black is basic black. I used two kinds of brown. The dark brown on the door uh, was not showing up so well against the black. So I changed browns for the roof. I don't remember which ones they are. But there you go. Oh, and then the windows are light French artichoke. And this is 32 count Wren. I love this. This is so pretty. So pretty. Again, so much fabric. I can use that for something else. Next, today's finish is a freebie by the Primitive Hair. It's called Love Never Fails. I stitched the year we were married which bumped it out a bit so I had to shorten the key which was not a problem so again I don't <laughs> I just you know and then the next project I'll start over here and if I have any left over it'll go there or here it's it, Oh, needle. Okay, so I did that. And um, I also tried um, hem stitching. So I had this project. This is done, this was done in 2008 or earlier. I know, 2000, somewhere between 2008 and 2010 because we were in the rental house on Boston Road. But um, I did hem stitching on it. So the stitched piece has been sitting in my, finish, in my box of finishes for forever now. So I finally tried hem stitching and it's so much fun it's it's a lot of work but very well very rewarding um i enjoyed it a lot it looks really really nice my girls want to know who this belongs to i told them it belongs to me so um Lessons learned from this. It's, I should have left, I had plenty of fabric all around. I should have left more fabric for the top so that I could um, make it a bell pole. I mean, I still could, I could just sew a pocket, a, a piece of fabric here um and put a dowel through and then it'll still be a bell pull but um it won't show the hem stitching the pulled thread work uh, so lessons learned but that's all right it was still fun and i definitely recommend doing that i also was thinking of doing a tutorial for that um we'll see um schedule the kids are out of school but that doesn't mean we're not busy so we'll just see how the schedule goes okay let's move on to whips i have been working on p roy by stacy nash um, he's a slug. I don't have any of, that's not true. I have picnic basket. Picnic basket is, and straw bonnet are the only floss, called for floss that I have. And I can't even find where my straw bonnet is. It's in a, it's with another project. So I just 
grabbed some HDF substitutions. Um, and it is, he is looking really good. I need to stitch the other antenna. Um, but yeah, that's my progress on Puroi. This is 32 count, 36 count maple sugar, I think. Maple sugar. Is this maple sugar? No, this isn't maple sugar. This is, hmm, it's lakeside. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I don't know all the nuances, all the differences of the lakeside colors. Um, oh, pearl barley. Pearl barley. I'm sure it's pearl barley. And then my other project is um, Martha Hard's Age 10. This is by Needlework Press. I am stitching it on 32 count. Mm. I don't know. Light mocha. 32 count light mocha with Gloriana Cranberry. And this is my progress so far. She's not very big. Very, very pretty. I am really enjoying working on this. I am gonna run out of uh, the cranberry, but um, I ordered some more. So hopefully the dye lot won't be an issue. Um, if it's too different, if it's I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm in that line. So if the dye lot is different, just the bottom part will be done in the different dye lot. And it doesn't matter. My other project is, um, oh, there it is. Active Whip is um portable sampler by bag samplers already i stitched um the horn book sampler two a couple of years ago so this is horn book sampler one oh here's here's that prairie spooler so it's just one of these cards it's one of those okay so here is my progress so far on Hornbook Sampler. I'm using 310 for the black and I'm just substituting um, with floss from Stash. I... Yeah. This is so much fun. I really like this. My, um, the model is stitched on a much darker fabric, so I'm having to adjust my lighter colors, but it's fine. It's working out just fine. And then for my, uh, this is my whip on the Lowry. It's going to be the big project. This is scroll sampler, which... I started on March 32nd. I originally started it on flax with this cherry brown HDF, which I then changed my mind and I dipped my fabric in coffee and now I am using a much brighter red. This is Old Made of the Heart by HDF. I am having so much fun with that. I'm really enjoying it. Now, Pandemic. 
what was a freebie chart by Long Dog. It is no longer a freebie. It was a freebie for a week. You guys should have grabbed it when it was still a freebie. Go buy it from Jules. So for that, I did not have a big enough, well, I, yeah, I didn't have a big enough um, fabric for it. It is 365 by 429. It needed, it would not fit in a fat quarter. So I retired one of my projects, one of my barely whips. Um, it was a basilicate Esther cop. I had like five half stitches started. So I had that started on mellow, which is a very bright yellow. So what I did was I crumpled up the mellow, put it in a Tupperware, poured two shots of espresso in there, let it soak for 30 minutes, and then I took it outside on the clothesline and I let it dry. I just let it drip dry. So it didn't, um, the whole fabric did not get wet while it was in the Tupperware. Um, but the liquid did go down. Cause that's how gravity works while it was on the clothesline. So it's not a flat dye. You can still see the modeling from the mellow. Um, I just knocked down the brightness a bit and I'm very happy with that. And for this one, I will be using the brown cherry. What is this thing called? It is exemplar. Oh, I cannot read the handwriting. This is exemplar something cherry. Something that starts with an R. Cherry. Ruby? No, that's not a Y. It could be. So exemplar Ruby Cherry. It's a brown, pinky brown. super nice and I have enough so <sighs> that's what I've been working on and this will get started soon mm, not today soon um, there is a sal for that damn it Megan sal And that's all I have. That's all I have. I'm gonna go stitch. And I'm gonna stitch and try to calm down and enjoy the quiet. And that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your fucking mask. Just wear your mask. Your mask doesn't protect you. It catches your spit. So you're not spitting on other people. Okay? It's just rude not to wear a mask. So wear a mask. Wash your hands. Stay home unless you're running essential errands. Stay home. Keep your cooties to yourself. Don't be racist and have a nice day. Bye.